I'll be. Hi, I'm Jay Lisi, and welcome back to my channel. We are starting our tour from Portland, Oregon to Sturgis, South Dakota. Just like you, I'm meeting many of these weirdos for the very first time. Of course, we all know my uncle Josh, Shade Cherry Surgeon. New to the fellowship is Matt, the owner of Velvet Dispensaries in California. We also have Lance, or Q, the owner of Gems Cannabis. He's also from California. Some of you may already know Jason of Sugar Tree Farm. He donated both of the BMWs that Josh and I are riding in this video. Thank you, Jason. We also have Gabe. The fellowship started our cross-country trip by fighting the Portland traffic and losing. Only a couple miles outside of the city, and you can see the point of Mount Hood out there. We're looking to go as far as Lewiston, Idaho today, which is about six to eight hours. This is the largest group I've traveled with going long distance. So I'm a little nervous, but I'm also very excited. Also because I've never met these guys before today. That's one way to bond really fast is ride over a thousand miles together. After getting out of the traffic of Portland and getting on the open road and seeing some mountains has made me instantly feel better. I was feeling really stressed about how late we're getting on the road. If I'm gonna be stressed out, this is a pretty cool place to be stressed out. It's so cool to see trains that are so long. I'm sure it wouldn't be cool to be stuck behind it, but we just don't get trains that are this big in Florida. At least not that I've seen. On the East Coast, it takes over 500 miles out of Florida to see something as gorgeous as just this hill right here. To me, it's a mountain. Ah, oh, shut up. That's so f***ing cool. I don't know about you guys, but getting on the road and seeing the mountains immediately melts my anxiety. I was getting really stressed out because I don't know anybody in this group besides Josh and Jason. And I know that Josh must feel the same way too because Jason was our only link to these three other men that we just met. And we're now going to spend the next week traveling across the country with. Oh, look at the train! Josh and I decided to dedicate our entire cross-country trip to Lewis and Clark and to follow their path across the country as close as we could. How many more times is Oregon gonna change its scenery? What must have Lewis and Clark thought they were headed into? I know I would have been bummed if I thought it was just desert all the way until the coast. In the spirit of Lewis and Clark, the fellowship headed down 85 into the vast emptiness of America with only the general idea of where we were going. And with Josh leading us, there's an emphasis on only having a general idea of where we're going. Although we're technically traveling down Lewis and Clark's return route, I felt connected to all the past and present travelers as we discovered our own individual experiences of the same ever-changing landscapes. Whoa! Look how f***ing sick that looks! I'm sure if it wasn't for this main river, Lewis and Clark would have been so stressed passing through this area. It is hot as f***. Besides the river, it's a f***ing desert out here. Oh my god! My goddamn camera was about to come out! What are friends for? Holy shit! I'm so thankful! Oh, these guys are amazing! I just met them and I love them! Oh my god, the shadow of the mountain feels amazing! Holy shit, that feels so good! Oh my goodness, are we gonna just go all along this lake? I can see all the cars off in the distance, how f***ing cool. Honestly, riding in a pack is more fun than I expected it to be. I expected it to be complicated and annoying, but I'm having a really good time riding with everybody. I feel like this is the best way to bond really fast. Okay, this picture is so cool. The open road and all these motorcycles. How cool does this look right now? The road is ours. There's literally no one here but us.
Oh, it feels so f***ing good to put some miles down. God, this looks like a freaking David Mann painting. All we need is choppers. We aren't on cool enough bikes. I see why people do this now. I'm really into it. Stop, and we've got about a hundred miles left until we hit Lewiston, our stop for the night. So we can have a good full day of Yellowstone tomorrow. Just golden hour gorgeousness. Okay, we finally made it to Idaho. The sun has just set. Oh my god! I did not know Lewiston was a big city! I thought it was gonna be like the tiniest town ever! That was not what I was expecting. I don't know why I expected a teeny tiny little town. This is a city, dude! I guess maybe just because we've been riding through nothing for so many miles. Oh, he's so nice for staying behind with me. I don't even see our other people. I didn't realize how high an elevation we were before we got into Lewiston. Oh my God. Not only is it warm, it's a city. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> That's back. It's dark in there. So I can't see. I figured that you were having a look. I need my glasses at night. Yeah, right? I was expecting some like f***ing ho-dunk town in the middle of nowhere. One diner, like that. That's what I thought. And I saw all the lights and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> must be a gold mining town. Gabe was right. It was actually a gold mining town, but I thought it was cool to note that the river we followed all the way here is actually a seaport and is the farthest inland port linked to the west coast. We made it! Although we made it to Lewiston safely, I unfortunately spilled an entire water bottle on my camera. So the only footage I have from the night is this weird phone footage of a karaoke bar. Well, a little bit of a late and rough start to the morning, but we're about to have one of the best rides ever. Yeah, yeah we are. So... Um, silver lining. Okay, Gabe up there's tire was rubbing and my camera got completely soaked by a water bottle. But thankfully, we found a tire in Missoula and I've dried out my camera and it works. Just in case I gotta piss on the road. Always gotta have this as a woman. <laughs> Should have brought my shiwi. All of a sudden, we are in the forest. I don't know when that happened. It just, it was very sudden. It's also raining now. And I've seen reports it's been raining all week at Sturgis. So hopefully we bring the sunshine instead of just the closer we get to South Dakota, the more it rains. The river rapids, holy shit. I think we've been following this river for about 60 miles. So many motorcyclists going down the Lewis and Clark Trail. It's really cool to see so many other people enjoying it the same way that we are.
these curves snuck up on me. It is definitely a bucket list item to ride my motorcycle through Montana and Utah. I won't be able to go through Utah this time and go through the Moab, but this time we'll be able to go through Yellowstone. I would love to go to Glacier National Park, but we just don't have the time to make it all the way to the north of Montana and back south and then make it to Sturgis. So although we'll be going through Montana pretty quick this time, I'll at least be able to cross this off of my bucket list. Really wish it wasn't raining right now so we could thoroughly enjoy these rocks and I could open my visor. Holy shit! Oh my god! I almost hit a bird! Did you see that? I did not pack for this trip to get so cold. I was like, okay, it's August. It'll be hot. There's no way I'll be cold for even a moment. Oh, what am I doing? I've got heated grips. Sitting here shivering for no reason. Mm. All I know is I do not want to do this in the dark. So it's time to put some serious miles down. It's one thing to do this in the rain, but doing this in the dark and the rain, that'll crush my spirit. so weird to be in just the middle of this valley. Better turn off my GoPro so it don't break. Now this is the Montana I imagined. I pictured this perfect mountainous landscape with perfect weather, beautiful trees, beautiful rolling hills, and vast swooping valleys. Now it was still all those things. It was just raining yesterday, so I was totally bumped out while I was taking all of it in. I didn't feel like I was really appreciating it. I mean, had it not stopped raining, I would have had to find a way to appreciate it either way because this is my only time going through Montana. I have no idea if I'll ever be back. Well, I'm thankful that the skies have cleared and provided us a perfect sunny day for us to go see Yellowstone. As of now, we're only about six hours away from Sturgis if we take the fast way, but we're not riding across the country just to take the fast way. Also, if I sound nasally, I think it's because I'm allergic to Montana or just the entire West Coast. I hope I get to see a bear in Montana. That would be like seeing an alligator in Florida. Just any wildlife today, I am just so excited to see. And if I don't see any, that's okay too. Because look at these mountains. Wow, how gorgeous. I'll tell you, my mood today has totally changed. Even yesterday, I was in a good mood. I was just bummed about the rain because I was so excited about Montana. This might be my new favorite state. Oh, the flowers too. Oh. I just want to scream. It's so gorgeous. I can't believe this. Oh my god, oh my god, it's so pretty. I feel so, so incredibly lucky that I get to do this. People wait their whole lives to come here. I've waited my whole life to come here. Ooh, we're getting closer. Dude, you could just dump a body in there. Oh my God, what an absolutely gorgeous place. I'd be terrified to be kayaking on those river rapids, but we're seeing people do it. I made sure to point out every single animal I saw during this trip. Oh, we're so close to Yellowstone, I'm so excited! Look at this cute little town. Ooh, we must be real close. 
If I don't see a buffalo on the screen or a bison, I don't really know the difference. Maybe I don't deserve to see one then. Oh, f it. Yeah, I do. Turns out I do deserve it because there is no difference. What the hell? Dude, the scenery, it just changed from this to this. What? What? Oh yeah, we're trudging. This is the trudge. <laughs> God, I had no idea how big Yellowstone was. You go through Zion National Park and it's over in like 10 minutes. Yellowstone is 200 million acres. Oh man, this might be my, my favorite national park. It's so cool. So many hot springs. Zion was my favorite national park, but it's just so small. And so maybe if I had spent more time there, I would have had a different opinion. And I still haven't actually been inside of Yosemite. I only drove up to it. So right now, I think this is standing. Yellowstone is my favorite national park. Oh, wow, so many motorcycles. Well, now I see what they mean, busiest time of year. It's legit traffic here. Oh my God, there's so many different hot springs. Caution, wildlife is dangerous, do not approach. I would like to see some dangerous wildlife, please. Made it. I think it's really amazing that there's so many people here. Some people would think it was lame or be really bothered by it, but I just think it's really cool that all these people are here. There's like camaraderie of like, let's go look at this really cool thing. Yeah. Woo! It's not pee, it's different. Dude, what's happening underneath the earth right now? Off we go, leaving Yellowstone and onward to Cody, Wyoming, our last stop before Sturgis. We still have some awesome riding to do through Yellowstone Park. I saw a raven for the first time. That was very exciting. Dude, drop your favorite national park in the comments. Yellowstone might be my favorite now. Oh my God. Look at these red rocks. On our way out of Yellowstone Park, due to some construction, we ended up getting stopped in traffic for over 30 minutes. Everybody else ended up getting off their motorcycle and getting out of their cars, playing ball, walking their dog, and some other extracurricular activities too. Uh -oh. Florida. Yeah, we're going to Sturgis. My good man. He said New Mexico. Look at that construction cowboy hat. That's amazing.
I can't believe we were on the other side of this whole lake. We were on the whole other side. Neat. Another male. All right, what piece of wildlife is there now that everyone's got to pull over and cause traffic? Better be a bison. If it's an elk again, I'm going to be pissed. God damn it, guys. <laughs> Only 100 miles away from our destination. I feel like I could go for 500 more. I've had such a good day in Yellowstone. I just wish there were more hours in the day so we could spend more time here. I feel like I could spend weeks here. Oh, I'm excited to descend to this mountain. Was that a beaver? No, beavers are nocturnal. That must have been like a mirror, like a muskrat, mirror cat. No, it, what are they called? Uh. Why are there explosives over there? It says, explosives keep out. Why are there explosives on the side of the road of Yellowstone? That's something to look up later. Future Shay here. Turns out the explosives are for avalanche control, which is way less exciting than what present Shay thought. Our elevation is about eight or 9,000 feet and I can see the snow up there. I am cold. Where are all the bison? Now it's time to say goodbye, son, to Yellowstone. Whoa. I'm in a mountain right now. Whoa. Someone just blew this shit up with dynamite and was like, yep, let's make a tunnel. Secret tunnel through the mountain. Secret tunnel. Secret, 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 secret tunnel. Imagine going off-roading over there. That's so cool. I am so excited about every single mountain we pass. I, I always think I'm gonna not get excited about the next mountain, but then the next mountain comes and I'm like, oh, they're all different and unique and special and I love riding next to them. How absolutely beautiful is this? I feel so, so grateful that I get to do this. We here, we made it to Cody. And with only a few miles left in our tank, everybody's running out of gas. Well, everybody except for me and Josh, we have great gas mileage. Oh, there's a rodeo. Off to eat some dinner and get a really good sleep before we head to Sturgis tomorrow. We're only about two hours away. And if I don't see a freaking bison or buffalo tomorrow, I'm gonna scream for real this time. Cody, Wyoming has been so cool. There's a rodeo every day. All of the people are so nice. Even the gas station bathroom was nice. We didn't stay in any fancy hotel, but even the hotel was nice. Is this like a well-known town or something? I don't, maybe it is. We've been to a lot of mountain towns. They're not like that. They're not this nice. Yeah, they got the tourism thing down. You know the other place that was really nice that we went to? Was Silverton. Silverton's very cool. It's like the nicest, cleanest, friendliest town. Yeah, well, I. It's incredible, dude. It's so nice. Even like the bathroom of the desk. The bathroom was nice, yeah. We're coming back. Thanks. Wow, so helpful. Oh, Wyoming has been so absolutely gorgeous. I had no idea that it was going to be my favorite state of this entire trip so far. I really thought it was gonna be Montana, but turns out most of Yellowstone is actually in Wyoming, not in Montana. I've been so depressed lately, but it's really, really hard to be depressed when you're on the road driving through the coolest parts of the country. We have about a six hour ride into Sturgis today. And we're gonna take some seriously amazing roads.
roads in. Seeing nothing but the open road ahead of us, that's a good feeling. Not a single car ahead, not a single car behind. Nothing but us and the open road. I guess some animals too. So many motorcycles too. Everybody's going to or from Sturgis if you're this close to South Dakota. Oh my goodness, look at those mountains off in the distance. We've been riding in this valley for so long. My boy's struggling. <laughs> I wasn't recording, but I just dropped my motorcycle at a gas station. So we got a little extra duct tape to the BMW. Honestly, I'm surprised that I've made it this far with only dropping it twice. That's pretty good, because this seems even harder than the PC800. This is way harder than the PC800, because it's way heavier. All right, you're done being dramatic. Let's go. I scraped my knee. <laughs> <laughs> it spilled my coffee. What happened? Did you just turn too far? No, I was just turning too slow. And then I was like, I want to actually look kind of hurt on my butt. Okay, we're all good. It's all fine, everybody. Not only is this bike taller than the PC800, it's heavier than the PC800. Yeah, I don't know why the weight feels different today. Now it's to be so short. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> One of the worst feelings, honestly, about falling down is not being embarrassed. It's that my music is still playing. I'll drive my bike in front of everyone at Sturgis. I really don't care. Dropping a bike is not embarrassing to me. Think of how tall you are. Imagine being on the motorcycle that you usually ride, but except you're tiptoeing it and it's twice as heavy. I only weigh 100 pounds and none of that is muscle mass. So I think I'm doing a pretty good job for my circumstances. I love this. We're arguing about chemtrails and Q's over there just like, Please, my back. Oh my God. Well, we're officially in the mountains. We're at the Bighorn National Forest. I hope I see stuff with big horns. I did not. Oh my God, so gorgeous. That's so cool. Got a big old turn coming up here. feels so full. This is definitely the best month of my life. The coolest things I've ever done. We've been waiting here for way too long, so. The only right thing to do is roll a joint in literally 30 seconds. You're a magic man. That was literally 30 seconds. 30 seconds, ground and rolled. Oh, let her rip. Nice job, bro. I'm in gear. I forgot. Are you good? Yeah. Get my kickstand for me, please. There was only about two times during this whole cross country trip that I was able to get my motorcycle up by myself. Josh had to help me the rest of the time, every single time. Loose gravel. Oh no! Ready everybody for adventure riding! Please do not press your brakes in front of me on a dirt road! That's my song. Oh. Um, uh, 
adventure. I said, please don't press your brakes in front of me on a dirt road. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, fuck. Oh, when's this over? When is it over? Please be over soon. I would like this to be over soon. I wonder if it's gonna be over soon. Oh, look, it's over soon. I sing when I'm anxious. <laughs> we all make it? All right, we all made it. You just gotta let the bike loose, let it do its thing, let it wobble around, and never, ever, ever, ever stop on a dirt road, or you will take a little tumble. Oh my gosh, look at those mountains out there are insane. What the f***? There's so many cars out there. What the f*** is that? At this point, we're only 200 miles away from Sturgis. So we're seeing a lot of motorcycles coming and going. It's really cool to see just how many. And we're still 200 miles away. I'm so excited to meet so many people, hang out with some old friends, and learn a lot about motorcycle culture and about different motorcycles. Oh, I'm also so excited for all the great riding we're gonna do through needles. This is amazing! Where the hell are we? We're about to head South Dakota, and if I don't see a bison all the way through Yellowstone and all the way through Wyoming into Sturgis, and I don't see a bison, I'm a scream. All right, we, I think we have one or two gas stops left until we hit Sturgis. We made it! So much for tuning into this week's episode. I'm not really sure when part two of this video is going to come out. These videos are very difficult to edit. So I just wanted to give a shout out to all of my patrons who make these extra long videos possible because Jason from Sugar Tree Farm did donate both of the motorcycles Josh and I are riding. The rest of it is up to us. There are no sponsors to the Brap Star channels except for you guys. So thank you so much and I'll see you guys next week. Yeah, next week. I, I have been posting a little more irregular, but I, it's just because I'm taking longer editing my content and making sure that I'm super happy with it. So thanks for staying tuned and I'll see you guys next week. Okay, bye-bye. Dude, you could just dump a body in there.